Hello everybody, welcome back. It's Theodore here and today wait a minute. And I am wearing shorts. Why? It is 104 degrees outside, guys. If you guys live in Utah or if you guys are familiar with Utah weather, we do not get this warm of temperature this early on in the year. Usually doorbell usually in June it's more like um kind of sort of rainy weather and then we slowly transition to warmer weather but today it's like freaking 104 degrees outside so it's flipping hot um i need to mount you guys up taller because this is not tall enough. in utah it has not been raining at all guys so we have this pollen and all the weed and the dust and everything just blowing all over the place so I've been getting really bad allergies and it's not just me. Winnie has really bad allergies too. So he's like sneezing like crazy. So earlier last week, I went and developed my film. It's just easier for me that way to ship my film to New York rather than going to downtown and getting my film developed. I don't wanna drive to downtown. It's just not something that I like look forward to. And I sent like six rolls of film and one of the roll of film was from the Supreme Yashica MF1. This camera was so hard to get, guys. It was completely sold out on the Supreme website. Supreme website was selling it for about $60, $70. And then resale, it was like selling for over $100. And I actually bought it resale because I could not get it anywhere. So I was like, I just have to. I just have to buy one, okay? Like, for me, a camera collector that doesn't have, like, a Supreme film camera, that's just bizarre, I feel like. But anyways, I bought one off of Facebook Marketplace. I'm here at this mall to pick up my new camera. Hmm. And I just picked it up. He's the guy that goes on the website and buys them for really cheap and then sells it up for really high. Yeah, I have this camera now. So, yeah, let's get into this video. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is something that is not new to this channel. I've talked about Skillshare many, many times before on my channel. Skillshare is an online learning community where you guys can learn about the arts, UI, UX design, photography, productivity, the list goes on. Lately, I've been taking a productivity class because your girl is suffering here. You guys have no idea. I feel like... I'm never working enough. I feel like I'm I'm just not up to par yet. So lately I've been taking a productivity masterclass from Ali Abdal. I know he is a YouTuber and I know he has productivity classes on his YouTube, but this is a masterclass where he goes into the nitty gritty, full on detail of productivity and how you can achieve his type of productivity. It's curated specifically for learning. Skillshare has no ads and if you buy their annual subscription, it is only less than $10 a month. Right now, Skillshare is giving away free premium membership to the first 1,000 people who click on my link down below so that you can explore your creativity. I am in the right direction 
because this is a huge ass mountain and the road is so bumpy. Oh my god. Is that a dead end? Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Just tell you They were like all lovey, like he, she copies whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh -huh. Two, three. Is <laughs> your dog or is it away comfortable? Yeah, what's happening? <laughs> Sounds like you can use quads now. It's gonna be tired. I'm tired. Cutie, the cutest baby trivia. She called you heavy. <laughs> she called you heavy. <laughs>
Uh -huh. Before we go, I just want to give another shout out to today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community where there are thousands of videos where you can explore your creativity and learn about new hobbies every day. Welcome back guys. We are back from trying out the Supreme camera. So let's get into it. Quality wise, I want to talk about the quality because this was a very expensive camera buying it resell. So I want to talk about the quality. The quality is actually very cheap. So it's actually really hard to open the back of the camera. So you're supposed to push this down, right? And it's supposed to like just open right up, but it doesn't and hard to open every time okay there we go okay so once you get it open this is what you see you notice like the little I guess spray paint fragments or spray paint dust on the back of the camera see you can tell that they spray painted it because this part is supposed to be black but it's red really light plasticky camera. Even the Supreme logo isn't even that even because when I unboxed it, this M right here was a little scratch. And then you look up here and then you can like actually see into like the viewfinder and then you see this and it's just, it just feels really plasticky here and it's all exposed, like nothing is covering it. It's kind of hard because this guy gets a little stuck and then you have to push him in and then you can close it. And then once you do, it's kind of like that. If you got it during the initial release on Supreme's website for like $60, $70, I think it would have been like worth it. But because I bought it resell for over $100, um, I don't think buying it resell for over $100 is necessarily worth it because it's just not worth $100, guys. Like, I don't think this is worth $100. I have plenty of cameras over there that are worth $100 and more, and they are not like this quality. This camera is almost exactly like my dollar cameras that I buy at the thrift store. One thing that probably sets it aside from my dollar cameras that I get from the thrift store is the Supreme logo, but I wouldn't say that it's like necessary to have the Supreme logo to go around taking photos. I mean, if you are a hype beast or hype bay type of person that likes to buy Supreme stuff, this is the camera for you. But um, an average person like me, I don't really care for it. So as far as the functionalities go, it does work just like an analog camera would or should. So this camera isn't even automatic, but I really just don't recommend buying it resell for over $100. But I really like the photo quality though. Sorry, that is Dory. I really like the photo quality though. Um, I think it's mainly because of the ISO 400 film that the camera originally came with. So the photo quality looks great, but um, the camera like overall like quality it's just not up to par. I feel like for a hundred dollar, for over a hundred dollar camera, I don't think it's that great. But if you really want the Yashica MF1, they're selling it on Amazon for like fifty, sixty dollars. Amazon order just came. Now it sits next to its overpriced twin. Yeah. Did I overpay for the Supreme Yashica? Definitely I did. But do I regret it? 
not so much. There's something about that Supreme logo on the camera that just makes it a little bit more special. I actually got this camera before I purchased the Supreme Yashica. Um, this camera, uh, I've never had a red camera, so that's why I wanted this camera in red, but then now I have a Supreme Yashica that's also in red. Yeah, I should have gotten an orange uh, Yashica MF1 or something like that. I don't have an orange camera, but... So go ahead and go on Amazon and buy one of those, but it just doesn't have the Supreme logo on it. But I don't think the Supreme logo is necessary for you to go around and take photos. So yeah, that is my two cents on the Supreme Yashica MF1. I hope you guys liked this video. And if you guys did, please do give a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Adios.